Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's video, I just kind of wanted to walk you all through my process for designing the Kaiju. Um, now, this is actually a monster that I kind of came up with like over 15 years ago, back when I was just a kid. So I kind of want to just go back and kind of update it to uh, modern times here. And I felt like, you know, it'd be cool to kind of make a video and, and uh, let y'all know how I went about doing this. So the name of this Kaiju, his name is King Sovereign. Cause I, my idea for this uh, monster was, um, or the themes, let's say. So before I come up with, you know, the design, I kind of think of like what kind of theme I want to portray and what I want this kind of monster to represent. So with King Sovereign here, in case you couldn't tell by the name, uh, he's a very um, tyrannical type of monster. I wanted it, to, so I wanted its themes to kind of be like a, a very dominant, uh, tyrannical, uh, powerful, you know, uh, very physical type of being. Um, so when I kind of first thought about those ideas, then I kind of went about, you know, what would the creature look like? So obviously, if you want something to to display physicality and power, then you're going to make it kind of, you know, jacked. So as you can see here, I kind of chose like a cyclops as you know the, the basis of how its you know body shape and everything would be. And uh, if you ever want to make a creature look very uh, physically imposing, uh, the number one secret is in the neck or the traps. That's kind of the key. It, over any other muscle group, any other body part, give something a very thick and powerful neck, and that that's the main that's the main body part, the main muscle group. If you want to convey physical dominance. So that's kind of why you see he's got that, that big old neck on him. Um, another thing that's important to have is, you know, big forearms too. That's, that's another way to uh, convey or show strength in your uh, creature designs. So my idea with this was, since, you know, he's all about power and everything, and like the main thing with the Cyclops is obviously it's, it's one eye. So I kind of wanted that to be the focal point uh, with, the, with the design here. So kind of like my, my idea with it was, is that the eye is actually like this nuclear power source and it's like this limitless power source it's like the most powerful source of energy and this is my kaiju universe so like in my kaiju universe this is uh the most powerful not object but you know what i'm saying like it's the most powerful source of energy in this universe so in order to contain that much power like you'd have to have a creature that is so physically imposing that that only this giant jacked monster could source that that power and use it without it without it you know kind of uh running amok or whatever you want to say so my idea was you know that's the power source and kind of uh he's able to channel the energy from that eye into obviously he's, he's gonna be able to shoot like a laser beam out of it you know like a nuclear laser beam that's obvious but um even into like let's say he's gonna wind up for a punch like what he would do and he would channel the energy from his eye into that fist to make it even more powerful even down into his feet if he's going to do like some sort of nuclear stomp so i just thought that'd be kind of cool and then also um since he's very uh tyrannical and i wanted him to kind of you know be this massive hulking king uh, i thought it'd be cool with these spikes to kind of almost resemble like a crown as you can see like from its uh the the bust here the headshot you can kind of see that i wanted it to kind of represent uh, like a crown without without just being on the head you know i thought it'd be cool to incorporate the spikes into the shoulders and everything just just another thing like i said with the themes i wanted to portray that that sort of king kingly dominance type of thing so and also one of my uh core beliefs is if you want to make something look cooler give it spikes so you know i gotta gotta throw on spikes so yeah i'm just kind of uh throwing in the shading here and all that kind of stuff I mean, this is very rough and you know loose with my drawing. I actually prefer this over anything. I love con I love doing like concept art like this where it's not super clean. I just the line work when it's you know when you're going through fast when you're drawing and everything and it just conveys so much more energy in your line work and just the art itself. So I've always preferred more you know messy, sketchy type of art versus like the clean, clean line art and everything. And also whenever you're coming up with concept art, you always want to show, you know, that the most important thing you want to have an up close headshot. So you have like that center bust there. And then I so I love doing a side profile. Then you want to always have the, the full body shot and then throw in a couple sketches of uh, some actions or just kind of displaying um, important details about your monster. So I had the, the close up eye shot there and then like the laser beam. And you always want to throw in, you know, some little uh, flavor text notes there. 
Um, so you can see in the top left talking about the uh, the nuclear powered laser beam that comes from his eye. And then like I said there, like the spikes are kind of a symbolism of the king of kings crown. And then you know like the eye channels limitless power throughout the hulking body. And it's the source of his power but it's also his weak point. So like nothing else can really damage him except if you go for the eye type of thing. So yeah that's uh, my concept here for King Sovereign. Thinking about um, maybe doing like a series of this whole stuff of revisiting all my old kaiju designs and kind of uh, updating them for uh, my current skill level and just everything I've learned over the years because I've progressed a lot over, over the last 15 years since I first uh, came up with all these monsters. Um, but yeah, that's it for me in this video. Do me a solid. If you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.